like you, people like me, this is where we all find grace. Come on now. Did you want to sing hallelujah? Did you say amen? Can't help but celebrate the important. and begin our worship this morning by singing together, sing, sing, sing. Thank you. 
Let's continue our worship as we turn our hearts to the Lord singing, breathe. day to be in God's house. Amen. Amen. Thank you all. You may be seated. I am so happy to welcome you all here today to, to be with us on this special Sunday. And I am especially grateful for those who are able to join us through the magic of technology at home. We are blessed by your presence just as if you are here with us in person today. So thank you for being with us. 
Today is a very special day in the life of our church. We get to experience the joy of welcoming nine new students into full membership through both baptism and confirmations today. Now, I have to tell you, it has been such a blessing for me to get to know all of these students since we began this journey back in the fall. And I am really excited for you all to take part in this experience with them today. So as we begin to prepare our hearts for worship, I'd ask for you all to join me in an attitude of prayer as I lead us in our opening prayer this morning. So will you pray with me? Good morning, God. We come together today excited and grateful for this special Confirmation Sunday. It's a big step for our confirmands and we are all here cheering them on. Thank you for walking with them every step of their journey, leading them to this moment where they say yes to continuing their adventure with you. Pour out your spirit on these amazing young people. Fill them with your love, joy, and peace so they can face the world with boldness and a heart full of your compassion. Help them to know just how much they are loved, not just by you, but by everyone who is here today. And bless everyone who is gathered here so we remember our own commitments to live out our faith every day. Keep us close as a church family, ready to support one another and shine your light in every corner of our lives. In Jesus' name, we celebrate this step together. Amen. Well, there's just a, a few announcements that I want to call your attention to this morning. You'll find a lot of information on what's going on here at the church and in our community in the blue section in the center of your bulletin. So I encourage you all to take a look at that and see what is up and coming. A couple of things to highlight. The first one is in just a couple of days, we have a dime to donate for the preschool here at St. Mark's at my favorite restaurant in the entire world, Arnie's. Now you gotta understand, I grew up in Lafayette, so the original Arnie's was my hangout as a kid. And it was the place to go and the place to be, and by my standards, there will never be a better pizza made. So, so please, if you're, uh, if you're able to take that, uh, that time and enjoy a break from, from cooking on Tuesday um, to uh, help the preschool raise funds, um, please consider joining us for a night out at Barney's. The Easter egg hunt that is coming up will be happening on the 23rd. Can y'all believe it's almost here? I mean, now we're, we're getting into the, the time that we're going to be celebrating Palm Sunday and then our Easter egg hunt, and um, it's going to be Easter Sunday before we know it, one of the most special days of the year. Uh, but the Easter egg hunt first happens on the 23rd. Check out the information on that. And then on the 24th, one week from today, we have our kids' Lenten musical, The Donkey's Tale. Now that's at 1.30 p.m. Um, right here in the sanctuary. And for those who have um, signed up or who are able, you can stay after to participate in the rice meal food pack that is benefiting uh, Midwest Mission Distribution Center. That happens after the musical at 2 p.m. So now, I want to turn our attention for just a moment to a brief video message about one of my favorite times of the year in the life of our church. We are talking about VBS.
excellent. Um, I, I can't tell you what a joy it is to see this sanctuary packed with children. Um, as of the, the last count that I was aware of, and think we're, we're still in March, right? We have over 100 campers signed up already for this year, and we are just excited to be able to bring the love of Christ to such an amazing group of kids that will be here that week. So registrations are open for both campers and volunteers um, and students. We always can use volunteers during the summer as well, and there's a number of different ways that you can serve, so please consider that and take a look at uh, what is available on the website there at stmarkscarmel.org slash VBS. Now, as we, uh, as we get ready to, to move into the, the rest of our worship service today, um, I know we have a lot of guests who are here with us this morning helping to celebrate with our confirmands, and I would love for us all to take just a moment to greet one another and pass the peace of Christ here in our sanctuary as we begin our time of worship. So who is excited to be here this morning? Yeah. Come on, guys. <laughs> I'm looking right at you. <laughs> well, I have to tell you, I am excited to be here this morning. And I'm excited because we are here for something extra special in the life of our church today. It is Confirmation Sunday. Now, I think every Sunday is a special day to gather and worship together. That is true. However, today is not just any other Sunday. It's a day where, where we get to stand alongside these nine amazing young people as they take a huge step in their faith journeys. Now, some will be stepping into the, the waters of baptism for the first time, while others will be saying yes to claiming as their own the promises that their parents made and received on their behalf when they were babies or small children. It's all about growth, diving deep into commitment, and really owning this journey that's both a personal adventure and something that we share as a family. And today, we all get to cheer them on. We get to celebrate them, and we get to remember that for them, the journey is just beginning at the same time that we get to recommit ourselves to walking into the future with them. Today is all about taking steps together in faith, in growth, and in community. Now, this celebration of, of confirmation I'd like to wrap around a, a very special piece of scripture today that, that really captures, I think, why we are all here. It's Philippians 1, 6. In the Common English Bible Translation, which is the one that all of the confirmands received at the beginning of their journey, it reads this way. I'm sure about this. The one who started a good work in you will stay with you to complete the job by the day of Christ Jesus. Now, I also love the slight expansion to the verse that we find in the message version, the message translation of our Bible. There, this passage reads, there has never been any doubt, the slightest doubt in my mind, that the God who started this great work in you would keep at it and bring it to a flourishing finish on the very day Christ Jesus appears. Now, friends, this, this verse opens our eyes to the, the truth that our walk in faith isn't just something that we decided to start on our own initiative. It's not even something that our parents could have decided for us. You see, it has actually been 
God's project from the very beginning, fueled by divine grace every step of the way. And God has promised to be with us to the very end. Now, we're, we're talking about a journey of transformation here. It's all about growing deeper into the, the kind of love and grace that Jesus shows us, making it more a part of, of who we are day by day. Now, every journey has a beginning, and our journey in, in faith is no exception. However, what makes this journey unique is that it doesn't begin with us. It began with God. It's an incredible reminder of how God's love and grace are at work in our lives, reaching out to us even before we realize it. It's God who gets the ball rolling, right? Sparking this amazing process of grace that invites us, invites us into a, a deeper and ongoing relationship with God. Now, this isn't just about following a path. It's about being drawn into an ongoing story of love, transformation, and connection that begins with God's initiative. Now, in the Methodist understanding, this, uh, this initiating grace that we're talking about is known as provenient grace. It's another one of those $10 words, right? It is this grace that, that goes before us. It precedes any human action or any human decision. This grace woos us. It, it draws us gently towards God and awakens in us a desire to respond to God's love. Now, it's important to recognize that today, as we confirm these young individuals, we are acknowledging and celebrating God's provenient grace at work in their lives. Confirmation, therefore, becomes a public affirmation of an inward grace that has been at work long before today. Now, as the students have learned through their Growing with God project during the, their classes and, and last weekend's retreat, this journey of faith, although marked by today's confirmation, doesn't end here. Instead, it continues with a renewed commitment and a deeper engagement with the practices that nurture our faith. And that's the same for all of us big people too. This phase of the journey that we're all in is marked by a, a special kind of grace that Methodists believe in, a, a grace that changes us to be more like Christ. It's all about the continuous work God does in the life of anyone who believes. A process of becoming more holy that goes on as long as we live. This grace is dynamic and it involves our active participation. It calls for our engagement in spiritual disciplines like, like prayer and studying scripture participating in worship like we all are today, and being part of a Christian community. And these practices, they're, they're not just rote or, or mere rituals. They are a means of grace through which God continues the good work that is within all of us. They're vital to our growth in faith, helping us to live out the teachings of Jesus in our daily lives. And as our confirmands step into this next phase of their faith journeys, it's crucial for them and for the entire congregation to remember that confirmation is not a graduation from church, but it is an invitation, an invitation into deeper involvement and deeper commitment as we continue to grow and learn. It calls us to, to be an, an active participant in God's transforming work in the world, living out our faith through acts of love, acts of justice, and acts of service. Completion in Christ Jesus 
is the third part of this message. Our, our journeys of faith, while filled with moments of growth and transformation, point us towards a future of hope. The completion of the good work that God has already begun in all of us. Now this completion, as promised in the scripture read this morning, will be brought to a flourishing finish on the very day that Christ Jesus appears. You see, God's going to keep on working and going to keep on going. Keep on working in, in each of the lives of our confirmands, in each of our lives, in all of us, until that future becomes a reality. It's a future that we, we look forward to with hope and anticipation. A future where we will see the fullness of God's kingdom realized and our own transformations completed in Christ. Now, this big vision that we're talking about isn't just about sitting around and waiting for these things to happen. It is about jumping in and being part of the amazing things that God is already doing to make the world a better place. We are called to dive deep into that faith journey, understanding that it's both a huge responsibility and an incredible privilege to team up with God in the work that we're talking about. I happen to love the sound of kids in church. That is music to my ears, even if mom and dad might not always think so at the time. <laughs> now, while we, we put our heart and soul into this work that we're talking about, we also know that it's really God that is working through us, that is guiding our desires and our actions to align with what's truly good in the world. The completion of our faith journey is a testament to God's faithfulness and grace. It's not about attaining perfection through our efforts, but receiving the gift of complete transformation through God's grace. And as we look forward to this completion, we do so with the confidence that the God who began this good work in us will be faithful to complete it. So today, as we celebrate the confirmation of these nine young individuals, let us all remember that confirmation isn't a conclusion, but a significant milestone that invites us into that deeper engagement with our faith and with our community. It's a moment to, to reflect on God's grace that calls us and transforms us and promises to lead us home. And to our confirmants, may you always cherish this day as a significant milestone in your own journeys of faith. May you all find strength and joy and guidance in the community that surrounds you today, and in the God who promises to complete that good work that has already begun in you. Amen. Now we're going to enter into a, a time of prayer now. And as, our, as is our custom here, I'd invite you to, to use this time for some individual prayer, for contemplation, we use it to prepare our tithes and offerings to support the, the ministries and missions of the church, which can be done online or by placing those tithes and offerings in those round baskets at the back of the sanctuary. Now, in just a moment, we're going to turn to experiencing some really special music from our worship band. But before we begin, I'd like to lead us in a, a brief centering moment and then have you all join with me in our breakthrough prayer that you can find printed in your bulletins or will be up on the screens as we open our hearts and minds 
to hear and see and feel the Holy Spirit's inspiration for us today. Now following our, our special music, I'll lead us in a time of prayer for others and for ourselves and ask you all to join me as you feel led in the Lord's Prayer. But I want to begin with, with having us close our eyes as you feel comfortable. Taking a deep breath in, slowly exhaling it to center ourselves in the moment as we pray together our breakthrough prayer. Let's pray. Nope. Okay. In your bulletins, you'll find the words to our breakthrough prayer in the back of the bulletins. So let's pray. God of new beginnings, as we rest in your presence, prepare a room in our hearts for your holy breath. May your spirit inspire our next steps in following your will. Amen. Walk in the way 
Amen. We are all, each and every one of us, a child of love. Let's pray. Gracious and, and loving God, as we gather in your presence, hearts united and, and spirits uplifted, we come before you with gratitude and anticipation. We thank you for the journey that has brought us to this sacred moment, a time to celebrate, affirm, and welcome these young individuals into a deeper walk with you. Today, we stand on the brink of a significant steps, step in the lives of our youth. We also hold in our hearts those among us and around us and around the world who are in need. For those facing challenges, illness, or hardship, may your comforting presence bring peace and your providence meet their needs. We lift up our, our leaders, those in this church, in our community, and, and around our world. Grant them wisdom, compassion, and a heart aligned with your will, that they may lead with integrity and pursue justice and peace for all people. Lord, we ask for your blessing upon these young lives that stand at the threshold of a new chapter in their faith journeys. May your spirit guide them, your wisdom enlighten them, and your love envelop them as they make their vows of commitment. Let them feel the support and love of this community, a reflection of your vast love. We give thanks for the families and all who have nurtured the faith of these young believers. Bless them with the assurance that they have laid a foundation built upon your unshakable presence and promises. As these confirmands affirm their faith, inspire them and all of us to seek you in every aspect of life, to serve others with compassion and to carry your light into the world. May we all grow in grace, in knowledge, and in love for you and for all your creation. Guide us as a congregation to support and mentor and walk alongside these young believers, showing them the love of Christ in all that we do. And now as one family in faith, let us pray together the prayer that Jesus taught, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Now, as we move into our, our 